What's up guys? John Rettinger from Techno and Buffalo here and I want to show you something you may have not seen before. That is HTC's Sense UI running on the Nexus One. Now before I start and giving you a tour of what's new and what's here, there are a few people that I need to thank. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank Carlos Graves. You can follow him on Twitter at, at Carlos Graves from droiddog.com, a fantastic Android resource, for really holding my hand through this whole process. I am a novice when it comes to rooting and a bit of hacking, and he was really patient and walked me through it. So, Carlos, thank you. This is the HTC Desire ROM. It's a new phone coming out from HTC. It's essentially the same guts as the Nexus One, but just with the Sense UI sitting on top of it. Uh, this ROM came from Modico. A Paul, one of their admins, posted it. And if you want to do this yourself, which is not for the faint of heart, I promise you, uh, you can follow some instructions that the good folks at Redmond Pi posted, and I'll put a link to all of these in the sidebar, including links to Carlos's Twitter page and Droid Dog. So let's go ahead and get started here. You'll notice that this looks very different than Android 2.1 that you've seen in the past. Um, first, let me show you that this is, in fact, still running Android 2.1. It's not a skinned version of 2.0. So we'll jump right into um, settings. And you notice a, a new settings menu here as well. Go to about phone, and we'll check the software information. You can see right there, it is still is running the newest version of Android 2.1 Update 1. The Update 1 was the update that gave it multi-touch capabilities, which are still present uh, throughout this. Now this ROM is just a alpha release. This is by no means a final ROM, and there are still some bugs in it. Uh, but for the most part, it's been really stable and really reliable. Really one of the one bugs I have seen is that light, right, the indicator light. Seems to always stay on. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the biggest things that, that I liked about Android 2.1 was the live wallpapers. And with Sense UI, you can actually still have those live wallpapers. Let me show you. So we'll go back into settings. We'll go up to the top and go to personalize. You got a whole bunch of new wallpapers here and you can pick different scenes that you like in the background. And you still have the option for live wallpaper. So if you're wondering, we'll go ahead and set that. Sense UI itself is a bit of a battery killer, and of course live wallpapers are as well, but they still do work. I'll show you what that is in just a minute. Still works just as normal live wallpapers did in the past. And you guys got sort of a sneak peek at one of the really cool innovations that's in HTC's new Sense UI, and that's pinch to zoom in the operating system. Previously we've seen pinch to zoom utilize uh, in web pages and picture galleries, but now it actually follows through without the operating, or throughout the operating system. So let me show you, take two fingers and actually pinch in. And you get almost a Mac-like expose of all of your different home screens, of which there are now seven. There's one down there that I'm not using, um, but you can jump right to any of these. So if I wanna go back to the home or check out weather, I can jump right on over to weather if I want to get back. To any of them I can hop right in or I can just zoom right out. The zoom right out seems sometimes doesn't always work, there you saw some, it was a little bit inaccurate, but it really is a nice way to jump around home screens. With standard Android 2.1, you had the little icons in the bottom uh, that you can jump to. Here on Sense, you can move via that new pinch to zoom, or you can see that little bar on the bottom right there start to move along as I scroll. And again, there are now seven home screens. So let's go ahead and show you some of the other cool new features that are found in Sense UI. Let's jump right to the camera. And you also notice a, a sort of a new menu tray as well. You don't have sort of that 3D folding back effect you had at 2.1. You also notice a lot of new programs and applications in here. You've got Peep, it's a built-in Twitter client. You've got um, new setup, stocks application, and quick office. You've got an FM radio tuner in here, which I tried to test, and it does not work. I thought maybe the next one had a hidden FM tuner in there. Uh, even with the headset plugged in to use as an antenna, uh, it doesn't work, and you still get the HTC's Teeter game, which is sort of like a, a labyrinth marble game. So let's jump into camera, go ahead and find that for you, and I'll show you what the camera icon looks like. And there's some uh, some new tweaks here, which are pretty hell handy, I think. So, standard camera. Let's go ahead and show you what you can do here. Go ahead and pull out that drawer and go to photo or video. Hit that icon right down below. You actually get a whole bunch of effects now that you can do. Uh, aqua effects. Solarize, negative, sepia, nothing that fancy, but uh, you know, they are sort of handy, sort of turns things um, a bit blue, as you can see, and there are a few other that have the standard features. Um, you can have a few more settings. I can go through and show you everything. This could be a 
probably a four hour long video, but I just want to show you that some of the camera functionality at least will be different um, on Sense UI. Go ahead and quit out of here. And I'll go ahead and uh, continue sort of the tour. Um, Android has a fantastic keyboard. HTC decided to put their own on here and they've had sort of their own keyboard since we first saw Sense and the HTC Hero. So let me show you what that keyboard looks like in case you haven't seen it. There you go. It, it's very easy to use, quick and easy to type on, and um, supports landscape orientation as well. And it still has the same auto-correction features that you've sort of known to, to love in Android. They show across the top, you can just tap them and you are off to the races. So let me continue uh, the tour here. There are a lot of widgets that you can choose from, a lot of HTC custom widgets. So I'll show you some of the few that I have uh, right here running on the Nexus One, and I'll show you what some of the other ones are as well. So here's their built-in Twitter application. You can scroll right through and see all your different tweets. If you want to uh, open one in particular, you can just click on it, and you get sort of a uh, functionality across the bottom. You can scroll and see your tweets, your mentions, direct messages, favorites, um, and all the like. And notifications will show up in the drop-down menu as well. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. We'll continue with some of the widgets that I've got right here. We've got a friend feed, sort of pulls in all your friends' tweets. Um, I don't know how useful it is, but it's something kind of fun to have and I wanted to show, demonstrate it. You've got weather, of course, and you can sort of scroll through different locations. London, Paris. Um, and here I am in Irvine. Now, one thing that, that I should mention is that when you set this up, you do have, of course, English options, but there is not an option for United States English. Uh, the closest was uh, the UK. So some of the words have sort of the UK spelling of things. And uh, I'm still playing around figuring out how to get this from Celsius to Fahrenheit. I was able to get the clock from 24 hour time to standard 12, uh, at least 12 standard in the US. So let me show you some of the other widgets that we've got. Here's HTC stock widget. So here we have uh, pictures in the picture gallery. Let me show you how this is handled. Um, standard Android 2.1 had a really cool sort of 3D picture effect. Uh, Sense UI doesn't have sort of the same cool effects, but it's pretty useful. Here's some pictures I took just of outside. You still have the pinch to zoom. And to go to the next picture, you just sort of do a sample swipe and videos show up right in there as well. Here's a sample video I took just sort of outside of my balcony. Plays pretty nicely, it was very short um, with video and it'll play right in that same, uh, that same screen. And if you'd like as well, go to, uh, go back to one of the pictures. Sort of free flowing there. So here's a picture of uh, Cat Mercedes and you have some options for, uh, for sharing this. Oops. Click that one more time. So if you want to send this wherever you'd like, you can send it to Facebook, Facebook for HTC Sense, sort of a custom Facebook uh, widget for HTC Sense, Flickr, Gmail, whatever mail account you have set up. Message if you wanna send it as an MMS, Picasa, or if it's a video, you can upload it directly to YouTube. And this is all sort of one touch. You set up the account, you click it, and it would automatically upload. And if for YouTube, it will upload in the background, so you don't have to keep the YouTube window open here all the time. Uh, it's something that annoyed me with a few other devices. I'll go ahead and close that here. So that was pictures. Then we've got sort of a blank screen here on the 7th. And let me show you what some of the other widgets are. Go to widgets. And you've got sort of your array of HTC options. Bookmarks, calendar, clock, Facebook, footprints, which is geotagging, friend stream, I showed you, mail, just pulls in your mail messages, music. Sort of get the Android music and HTC music, news, it'll pull in all your news feeds. Uh, people, it's sort of a quick dial, shows you a thumbnail of their picture if you like, and you can call them. Photo album, oh, there's a sample of what that looks like. Let's go back. Stock, settings, if you want to sync things, uh, weather, and YouTube. So let me show you one or two other things um, that I've noticed that have been kind of interesting. One of my big concerns when I flashed this ROM, which again was quite a hassle, was Android Marketplace. Is Android Marketplace still going to work with the sort of cooked ROM? And it does work and works just um, as you'd expect it with if this was, as if this was native. So Android Marketplace works no problem and things are here, uh, some are in dollars, some are in pounds. So let's go ahead and check out the internet since it does use a, looks like a bit of a different browser. 
So here we've got on Techno Buffalo, load speeds were just as fast as you'd expect with um, T-Mobile, who I'm using on here, 3G network um, or Wi-Fi. Pinch to zoom is certainly still there. Landscape orientation there as well. It's actually relatively quick as far as the rotating speeds. Um, it renders fast, it scrolls fast, and pinch to zoom works very quickly. Let's go ahead and quit out of here. A few other sort of different things uh, to be aware. Instead of having it say 3G, it's going to have an H for HSDPA. Sort of the icons across the top are going to look uh, a bit different than what you might have been used to with Android 2.1. Uh, the lock screen you guys saw when I first turned this on is definitely different as well. It's sort of the HTC Sense lock screen. You just slide that down and your home screen is revealed. Now I'm sure there are a lot. You can see the cloud. You can see the clouds sort of go across the home screen. Uh, we saw that with the HTC HD2. If it's raining, you'll see water drops that will show up there. If it's cloudy, you'll see the clouds like you just saw. If it's snow, you'll see sort of snowflakes. Um, the HTC... Uh, Sense UI is really full featured and goes all the way down uh, through most parts of Android. Um, and something that I've really enjoyed, the Nexus One has a processor speed and the RAM to handle running all these widgets, to handle the live wallpapers, uh, and have things run very smoothly. Now I have not tested battery drain, I assume this is going to be a complete battery suck, uh, but right now it's been, been working pretty well, I've had it for, uh, for a few hours and things seem to be running nicely. And again, this is just an alpha build of the ROM. I assume as sort of the community starts to build and go from alpha, a few other alphas, and finally into beta and a release, that you're really gonna see a, an improved experience. But right now, I think I could use this on a daily basis and probably use this quite happily. So guys, once again, if you're considering doing this, uh, it's certainly not for the faint of heart. I, I don't think I could have done this on my own without Carlos's help and his definite hand-holding. Something to keep in mind, and at the very least, the sneak preview of what you can expect with the HTC Desire, which I'm guessing is set for just a European release, judging by the language options. And anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. For more coverage of the Sense UI on the Nexus One, be sure to check out the YouTube channel and, of course, technobuffalo.com, where you can get all your tech news and even create and monetize your own tech sub blog, talk and create friends, um, talking about technology with our own custom built social network. Anyway, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.